Good morning woodchuck chuckers, it's Groundhog Day! Or at least it will be when you watch this, or if you're watching it like in the future then it's spring already, yay for you! Um, I thought I'd talk a bit about Groundhog Day because we've all watched the film over here but we don't really know much about the tradition. Um, it's actually a Pennsylvania German tradition that they do in Pennsylvania, I assume by the German people who emigrated to America, and it has its roots, or so the internet tells me, in um, weather folklore from Europe and they used to look at them badgers and bears. So what happens every year on February 2nd is they bring out a groundhog. I don't think the groundhog comes out of its own accord, I've only seen things where they actually people bring out the groundhog and if it's a sunny day and he sees his shadow then it's another six weeks of winter and if he comes out and he doesn't see a shadow then spring is going to come soon I guess but it sort of doesn't make sense because spring is sort of six weeks after Groundhog Day anyway and they think that his origins has something to do with the fact that there was kind of clashing calendars like what some people had a calendar that said spring would come at this point and other people said this so they decided to resort to just using the animal and asking the animal so they have all these different events up in Pennsylvania the largest one is in a place called Punxsutawney which you might know of because it's in the film and yes the groundhog is called Phil and something like 40,000 people come out and they have a big celebration and I think these days obviously it's more of a traditional thing than anything else I don't think anyone's actually believing what the groundhog is saying or looking at so the organisers of the groundhog events say that the groundhog is 75 to 90 percent accurate which sounds like pretty high but you know it's probably in their best interest plus that and if you're part of it you like the groundhog you want to believe he's telling you the truth there are some canadian researchers and they say the groundhogs because plural many groundhogs are about 37 percent accurate which is basically as good as guessing the weather almanac actually says punxsutawney phil is about 39 percent accurate but you know, I think everybody knows the groundhog isn't prognosticating the weather. Well, he he is, I guess, but he's not right. But it's kind of counterintuitive. Like if he sees his shadow and it's sunny, surely that would mean spring is coming. And if he doesn't see his shadow, it's cloudy. So like spring is a long way off. Doesn't make sense, but it's a lot of fun. Anyway, the reason we all know about Groundhog Day over here is because of the film, Groundhog Day, and it's one of the best films ever. I imagine everybody has seen it by now, but if you haven't, it is a brilliant film. I like it because it is very much about what you, people talk a lot in life about the things they want, you know, the things they want but they think they deserve, you know, like careers and money and people to love them and it's all very demanding and the great thing about this is you don't you know he doesn't get all the things he demands so he has to start doing other things you know kind of thinking with his heart and he just sort of does stuff for people and does stuff for himself and that's what really gives him the happiness in the end and it is a brilliant brilliant film I looked online and unfortunately the only time it's playing tonight if you're watching this on Groundhog Day is on Sky Movies Comedy and it's not streaming on Netflix or Love Film so I do apologise that the TV stations aren't paying attention but someone you know maybe you've got on DVD maybe someone else maybe it doesn't matter that much to you but it is a brilliant film and it is the right time of year to watch it there is a website uh, Punks Tony Phil has his own website groundhog.org so if you're watching this on Groundhog Day or after Groundhog Day then you can check the site and they will say whether he's seen a shadow or not but I should warn you the National Climactic Data Centre says that uh, groundhogs are on average inaccurate and hopefully spring will be here pretty soon because I am bored of this terrible weather I wonder if you need do you just need a animal because cats cats are pretty good at, you know cats are supposed to be good at that stuff hold on a second Frankie hello puss come on lovely boy He's a good boy. Do you, can you just use any animal? I mean, cats are pretty smart. Frankie, we're going to say hello to the nice people. We're going to take you out on Sunday and see if you see your shadow. You know, for the crack. Oh, so everybody, whether you're seeing this on Groundhog Day or after Groundhog Day, um, happy Groundhog Day, everybody. I see spring coming. <laughs> 